My interest is in reconstructing or retrieving lost Balanchine choreography and getting the great interpreters of his roles on archival tape. And one of the first uh, ones I thought of was Demolicia Markova to recreate the role of the Nightingale. And I thought about it because it was a first, a very important ballet for Balanchine. His first ballet in the West, his first ballet in collaboration with Stravinsky, and Demolicia's first starring role. So it was obviously had great historic uh, symbolism. The uh, very first performance took place in Paris, and again, I suppose I could be a very spoiled person because Stravinsky conducted the performances for me, and uh, I was wearing a costume designed by Matisse. This is you. Can you hear mm. in that music the little bird? Yeah. And this is your very first entrance in the ballet and into the court. And you're in that position with the hands, very small in the cage. And the four men will be carrying you very gently, slowly. And the court is very quiet at that moment because they're not quite sure what you will be able to do. Mm. And so now they all start rushing around again. You've passed through and you're in the wings. And now you have to wait there for your very next entrance, which is for the uh, variation. And the two men then will take you in the air mm. by the leg and throw you across stage mm. where the other two Waiting. will catch you and run round with you and place you centre stage there mm. ready the for, the, for the variation. So I know that is all coming together for you mm. now, isn't it? Yes, now I understand. <laughs> because I'm very familiar with it. Why was the Nightingale brought in? What, was it because the Emperor was unhappy or...? No, he... Was he, or, or? Uh, he he's ill. Oh, he's ill? Yes, oh. and uh, he, he's, uh, he's ill and, uh, well, maybe unhappy too if mm. you're ill usually. Mm. But he's on his throne mm. at the back there. And they want to try uh, to save his life, you see. And apparently, there's the story, you see, of this little nightingale, that if, if she sings, that it's, it's so uh, pure, beautiful and everything, mm. that maybe it would help and save his I life. I see. So that's why the nightingale is brought That's in. why... They uh, bring the nightingale in, the real nightingale, mm. you see, mm. across. And then after you've done your variation, mm. when you sing to try to save him, yeah. and then you go off, and then, of course, they bring the mechanical nightingale. Oh. And the court, rather, are more in favor of the... Mechanical, mechanical nightingale oh, because he's much more angular and, mm. and everything mm. and they think maybe he will save him but he doesn't mm. you see and then of course death comes in to try to take the yeah, emperor right. and you take pity on him mm. and come creeping back and think maybe you can win over death to save his life. Oh, so that's where death is. And which you do in mm. the end of the ballet. But you also expire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hans Anderson. <laughs> you know in my book the uh, mm. pose yes. there after Death has tried to strangle you, besides mm. <laughs> the emperor. You get rid of death, you, of death yes. mm. 
but you expire from, from getting rid and you go into that position. pose. Mm -hmm. That was your big pose. And then gently you just turn over and uh, a little bit like in the variation, um, you know those little creep yes, things. Yes. You're almost on the floor, isn't mm. it? Mm. And you turn over and you very slowly, quietly, you just creep mm -hmm. away. Mm. Is that and the you've end? expired. And then suddenly, as you disappear in the wings, the emperor suddenly comes to life and takes this huge robe and flings it down, and it used to cover the whole stage, the mm. courtiers, and they all went on their feet because you'd saved him. With the score, you see, it was so atmospheric. This is what, uh, you know, when one, when you start to know it, because it has that terrific strength at some points, mm -hmm. and then it's it's uh, for the beginning of the Nightingale's variation. I mean, it's just flute, the two together. We hop around. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> I think that was when Stravinsky said to me, you can't count, you must listen, you have to know the sound of every instrument. Mm -hmm.